life-changing <laughs> jewels. Okay, tell me more. I mean, they really are. You've seen all of these cleaning hacks. We've seen them all on social media. I think this trend really started in 2020, that mm. sort of first lockdown, right? Yeah. Our homes turned into, I mean, we were stuck in our homes all the time, <laughs> right. right? So watching other people clean their houses was kind of inspiring. Yeah. But you know what it is, Tracy, honestly? I know that there's like a love-hate with cleaning, right? People mm -hmm. say they don't like to clean. But mm -hmm. I, you know, beg to differ for someone to tell me they don't like a clean space. Oh, yeah, I want it to be clean. I just don't want to do it. Correct, yes. right? So there's this idea of cleaning that really is sort of like psychological. Yeah. You've got this... It pretty much is one of the only things that we can control. Absolutely. Right? Like, what's going on in the world today if we're getting locked down, if this is happening, climate change? Mm -hmm. But you know what? I can make my bed. Yes, I, I can. I can make my bed, and I can feel great when I make my bed. And you do feel great when you right? make your bed. You have that instant gratification. Yes, so I get it why people are so tuned into cleaning. It, right? And so watching this sort of trend grow on social media, my yes. absolute favorite is Go Clean Go. Okay. She is Canadian. Yes. She has over 1.2 million followers. Oh my gosh, and, and she's cleaning. And she's cleaning. Okay. Amazing. And has all these incredible, credible hacks. You tried some of these hacks, and I cannot wait to see if they work for you. Okay, I truly did, because I wanted to see that, A, if they work, and B, if they're actually easier to do. Yeah, okay. okay. so the first one that I did, was, com which is probably the biggest viral one out there, uh -huh. which is cleaning the pump of your washing machine. The pump of your washing machine. Yes. Have you ever done it? I don't even know where that is. Yeah, no, me too. Right? What? I didn't, you know, I had to like look on TikTok. I'm like, okay, where's that? Where's oh, I got that. that. So this is something that actually should be done every six months. Oh, And gosh. it's not like calling the guy <laughs> to like come fix it. This is something that you can do very easily. Okay. So there's, it's at the front of the washing machine, and you pull this little door down, and there's a little hose, and you take the hose, take the lid off, and then out comes all this water. So you have a bowl there. Yeah. OMG. The smell of. Oh, I don't uh, even want. Dude, know. you know when oh you open your washing gosh. machine, you're like, why does it smell so bad? Why does it... Yeah, it is like unbelievable. So that all drains out. Yes. Then you take out the filter, and then you sort of give it a clean, and that was like, and I will mm. be honest with you, my washing machine's not that old, mm -hmm. and it still had some stuff. Oh, well, then I'm in trouble. Right? We've had ours for 10 years. Yeah, dude, dude. <laughs> I don't even want to be around when that water's coming leaking We're out. In trouble. But, you know, so that's something you do every six months. But okay. if you want a little hack yes. to keep the, the washer clean, sort of every, maybe once a month, maybe once every eight weeks, yeah. is dish tabs. Oh. Right? For the dishwasher, for your dishes, yeah. oh, no. Chuck two of them in to the washing machine. Okay. Put it on a load. Oh, like seriously, Trace, this was blown away. It smells so good. Oh. My washing machine is so good. My husband's doing laundry. Oh, wow. Okay, that Just. is a good washing machine. <laughs> that is a good washing machine. Listen, I don't use the dishwasher, so I would totally use this right? for that. So these have a lot of use. So you yes. can put these in your sink, like right over your sink drain, add hot water to it, and yeah. it'll make the sink great. But the, oh, best, nice. the best one, really, Tracy, yeah. is dealing with your dirty pants. Oh, crusty right? pants. Right? Crusty pants. Yeah. Crusty pants. Okay, so all you're going to do with this is you're going to... Put it on the stove, yeah. fill it up with water, drop one of these in, yes. and let it go for about 20 minutes. Okay. And then, honestly, it becomes a dump wipe situation. Oh, my There gosh. is no scrubbing. Like, it looks amazing. That's incredible. And it's incredible. not, like, hard. It's just, like, dump, whip. You don't need to get the Brillo pad out. No. Just no. cook it There's up no and it's sweat. clean. There's no sweat. Oh, that's beautiful. I know. So good. Okay, very good. Uh, your next one has to do with vinegar. Okay, vinegar I could talk about for, like, Forever. Totally. I mean, vinegar is like decades, right? That we've yes. known this centuries, really. Centuries. Right? That it's, it's a great cleaning thing. So vinegar, what I like it to do with it the most is to actually put it in my dishwasher. As much as I love oh. my dish tabs, yeah. believe it or not, they don't clean your dishwasher because they're too busy cleaning your dishes. That's right. So what you do is you take yes. a cup of vinegar, probably about two to three cups, put it into a jar or into um, a bowl on the top layer of your dishwasher, yeah. let it do a round, mm -hmm. and it's amazing. It oh, sparkles. I okay. love and that. And then the vinegar will also clean your microwave. This oh. one I saw. This hack I saw. And I was like, really? Come on. Anyways, yeah. put it into a bowl. Put it in the microwave. Three minutes. Yeah. And it's whap, whap. Like there's no. Okay. It just it just falls off. So I thought you meant like you know put your dishcloth in the in the vinegar and wipe the sides. No, but like cook no, it. You cook it. Cook the vinegar. Cook the, the vinegar. Steam and goes it's gonna, through. Beautiful. This is so good. Beautiful. So your main things that you're gonna need are yes. vinegar, baking soda. And lemons. Those are right. easy things that you're going to need to do. Lemons are like my go-to. They're so mm. easy to work with. So every morning I will have lemon, Me too. hot water, right? So you just sort of squish your lemon into your yes. water. 
You're welcome to have that trace if you want. Oh, thank you very so, much. But don't throw this out, okay? okay? So what you're gonna use this for is to clean your sink. Honestly, the best. Take a tablespoon of baking soda, throw it right onto the lemon. Okay. And whatever drops into the sink is totally fine. Do you like my fake sink? Because it's all natural. Totally. And then you're going to just scrub That's the sides. That's her sink. This is my sink. But if you get the idea. So you scrub the sides of the sink. Nice. And it so cleans it. It sparkles it up. But what is so awesome is that lemons are a natural deodorizer for yes. food. Yes, right? So yes. any garlic smells, anything that's in your sink yeah. will come. You don't need any chemicals here. That's it's good. baking soda and lemons. So easy to do. And it does its own. It's got its own thing going on. It does. I it love does. the fact that you have this going on. So you do you always have just vinegar and lemons I hanging do. out? I do. Well, sometimes don't mix it up with the vodka and lemons. So I, <laughs> I just steal the vodka too. My kids are like, no, no, that's a vinegar, honey. Put that down. So yes, I always will take lemon peels and I distill the vinegar with that. I yeah. keep the baking soda in a mason jar so it's easier to get at Scoop than like this. Yeah. You know. And I also keep my vinegar and spray bottles. Smart. You know, super easy. And then my last one is baby oil. What are we going to do with the baby oil? I know. We're not going to suntan with it. What okay. we are going to do. <laughs> it's not 1987. No, it's not 1987 anymore, baby. <laughs> um, but it actually helps clean all your stainless steel. Oh, so your stainless okay. steel fridge, your appliances, your, you know, toasters. Yes. You don't need those wipes. So yeah. you just take a little bit. Woo! Oh, woo there is we go. Is it good for wool sweaters? sweaters? It works very nicely on that. But actually, <laughs> the way the hack with that is, is you put baking soda on that. Yeah. 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 And yeah. then it cleans out, what, totally. stains or no, whatever? Oil. Oh, oil. 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 Any okay, oil, well, you put baking soda on it. Well, I'll do that after. I'll Don't do worry that about. as soon Let as we're done. Let me clean my toaster second. first, okay? Here so you. then we're going to put a little bit of oil onto the cloth directly. Okay. And then you are just going to wipe down any stainless steel. And oh, it that's shines. Good. Look at that. It's so easy. Yeah. And it, you know, smells like babies. It's not abrasive. It's going to no. smell as fresh and clean as a baby's bum. Totally. And if you've got pets, if you've got kids, I always yes. say this, they lick everything. They lick the fridge. They lick the ground. Yes. You know what I mean? <laughs> so make sure you're using natural products everywhere because it's going to work. Absolutely. And I love the fact that you can take out oil with this. Oh, yeah, yeah. So I'm going to we'll do that do right that now. So we'll do that during yeah, the break. Yeah, we'll Jules, thank 